the World Cup has already given us plenty of thrills and spills but how have Tottenham Hotspurs players done out there so far? Football, London have been keeping a close eye on all of the Spurs players out in Russia through the first round of group stage matches. Tottenham have 12 stars at the World Cup. They are Hugo Lloris, France, Christian Eriksen, Denmark, Del Alli, Eric Deer, Harry Kane, Danny Rose, Kieran Trippier, England, Toby Alderweireld, Moussa Dembele, Jan Vertonghen, Belgium, Young Min Sun, South Korea, and Davinson Sanchez, Colombia. In the end only Rose failed to get some minutes in the competition in the opening set of matches. Here's how each of the Spurs stars who have so far stepped out onto the turf in the stadiums across Russia did on the world stage, with the ratings they got from the football, London team during each match. Hugo Lloris vs Australia made a great reaction save in the 17th minute to prevent an own goal from Tolisso, having had to do nothing in the game before that. That was the only thing that the Spurs skipper had to really do, except used his feet well on occasions. 6. Christian Eriksen Christian Eriksen versus Peru didn't have the impact most would have expected in the first half as he came deep to get hold of the ball, but had very little options in front of him. Came into life more in the second half and grabbed an assist for the opener with a lovely through ball. 8. Young Min Sun versus Sweden It took a while for the Spurs man to get involved in the game but as the match went on, his influence in the South Korea side started to show. However, he became quite anonymous in the second half and really struggled to impact proceedings. For Toby Alderweireld vs Panama didn't have a lot of defensive duties to really do as the Panama forwards had little to really work with. Had one massive go at Vertonghen in the first half after a mistake from his Spurs partner. A comfortable afternoon for him though. The 6th of January Vertong and Jan Vertongen versus Panama had to cover Carrasco quite a bit with the wing back defensively having a pretty poor game. It was a decent display from the Spurs man and was solid, like he was all season in the Premier League. 7 Musa Dembele versus Panama came off the bench and brought a little bit of extra security to the midfield when he came on. 6 Kieran Trippier versus Tunisia picked out Maguire with an early corner but the center back's header was saved. Then put across a fine low cross on 17 minutes that nobody could quite get a touch on. Sent a direct free kick wide on 68 minutes. His set pieces and crosses were a real threat for England and it was his corner that set up the winning goal created six chances in the game, more than any other player so far at the World Cup. 8 Del Alli vs Tunisia The Spurs man made a great early run but couldn't quite pick out Sterling with his first ball, but managed to knock the loose ball to Lingard who was denied by the keeper. He started brightly but picked up an injury during the first half which really restricted his movement. The medical staff decided he was fine for the second half but he struggled to make an impact and will now have a scan on the knock. 4. Harry Kane celebrates his winning goal Harry Kane versus Tunisia, who else would save the day but the England captain. Both poachers' efforts first following up Stone's saved effort. Should have had a penalty on 38 minutes and in the second half's opening exchanges but nobody seemed to decide they were a foul, even with all the referees in the VAR room in Moscow. but he was still there in the final moments to head home after Maguire's flick on. He didn't see much of the ball but if you give it to him in front of goal it's likely to end up in the net. That's what world-class players do. 8. Eric Deer vs Tunisia He came on in the final seconds of the match for Lingard. And Adovinson Sanchez vs Japan, the Spurs man got caught out trying to get to a bouncing ball with Osaka and he messed it up completely, leading to the follow-up shot which brought a red card and penalty. On the half-hour mark he was beaten again by Osaka after an under-hit pass to him but the striker's shot flew wide. On the whole his play improved but the 22-year-old still has a problem with hesitancy, letting high balls bounce and over-committing with his shoulder barging. 5. Keep up to date with the latest news, features and exclusives from Football, London via the free Football, London app for iPhone and Android.
available to download from the App Store and Google Play.